Well, let's look at how to sort an array of struct pointers. So first of all, I'm going to include the algorithm library. And now I'm going to go ahead and create my struct that's going to be sorted. So I'll do struct item. And this one is going to have two different attributes. So I've got number and I've got a string name. All right. So when I want to create it, I need to decide, first of all, how big it's going to be. And I can have it be a, I'm going to do a const int size five. And I'm going to have the array of struct pointers. So these are item and it's going to be array. And I'm going to make it the size. Let's make this size capital right here. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the items into it. So in order to put them in there, um, each one has to be, I have to create new items. So I do a new item and I'm going to have this first item be, I'm going to have the number set to say four and my dot name equal to, let's do, um, let's do G. There you go. And then I'm going to make a five of those. And change this right here. So each one of these is just a pointer. And each of these pointers is pointing to a new object. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these numbers in here. So four, five, one, two, three. Just to make sure that the values don't match up with everything exactly. And then G, uh, F, D, A, S. All right. So now I've got um, all these things, in, these, in, these things in here and they are not sorted. And so I'm going to go ahead and display all of them so you can see them. So I've got my C out right here, unsorted array. And I'm going to have a new line right here. And then I'm going to do a for loop for printing out all the lines for and i equals zero. i is less than size i plus plus. And then I'm just going to have a standard out, print out the array and index i and I'm going to use the arrow notation and first I'm going to have the number and then I'm going to put a blank space and then I'm going to do the once again the arrow notation to the name and then I can go ahead and do my and L right there all right, so that prints it out. And then I want to have another blank line at the end. So I'll do right, right here. So I'll go ahead and run this so you can see it running, first of all. So I run this. And you can see it prints out my unsorted array. Got four, five, one, two, three, G, F, D, S, A. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and sort these. So I'm going to create some comparators that I can use with the standard library sort function. So I want to have a return type as a bool. And I'm going to sort based on the name number. Let's do number first. And I'm going to pass in two different items. So I'll pass an item star a so i'm going to pass in a pointer to a and i'm going to have a pointer to item b 
and then I can compare these two and return either a true or false depending on whether A is before B or not. So I'm going to return A dash or not dash arrow name number is less than B arrow number. So if A and number so number in A is less than the number in B then it will return true which will cause it to sort so that it goes in the ascending order if I want descending I do a greater than instead so do the same thing with the name here a bool sort by name item star a passing the pointer item star b and I'm going to return a name is less than b name all right so those are my two comparison functions that get passed or used by the sort method below so I'm going to go ahead and do my sorts now so I copy this right here so let's do first a sorted array. So sorted, and this one's going to be by number. And let's do this one right here at the bottom. It'll be sorted by name. So after I do that, I want to actually sort it. So this is where we use the algorithm library I included above so use sort and I want to pass in the first element of the array and I pass in the address of that so I do at array zero and then I want to pass in the element after the last element of the array so because it goes from zero to four I put in five so array and since five is size, I'll just do the size. That way it works, even if I make my size bigger. All right, and now I can use the comparison. So my comparison was sort, sort by number. There we go. And all you need is just the name because it uses that. That's like more of a callback type thing where it, it uses that function. All right. And I want to do the same thing. Copy that line right here and put it down below. And this one I'm going to do sort by name. I spelled the name correctly though. All right. So now these should sort. So it should sort this set of numbers right here by the number. And it should sort the pointers, I guess, based on the name. So I'll go ahead and run this and we'll see what happens. All right, we can see the unsorted is still unsorted. The sort by number now is one, two, three, four, five. So that's good, it sorted those correctly. The sort by name is A, D, F, G, S. So those are also sorted alphabetically. So that worked as well. So you can see how you can sort in different ways. And this is how you sort an array of pointers to structs. You can use this also to sort an array of other things as well. Pointers to something else. Just pass in the pointers and then you can use your comparison to write it out and make it work. And there you go.